Hi everybody, I'm Jacob and this is Sam and this is Mick and we like to make science fun. fun! And today the question is raw or boiled egg? Uh, one of these eggs has been boiled and one of these eggs is raw. Oh, mm. turn it around. Yeah. Like turn both of them around. Yeah. One of them's got the date stamp. Yeah. So it must it mustn't have been washed in water. Oh. And the other one hasn't got the date stamp. Okay, I've so got it. So it probably has been washed off. So it's probably that one's been boiled. Oh, my yeah. daughter's too clever. This one's got missing the date stamp. I should have rubbed off that stamp. I wonder if there's another way to tell. Well, we're going to use Newton's first law or the law of inertia to find out. Are we ready? Yeah. yeah. Fill the beaker up with teddy bear yeah. for this experiment. That's it. Teddy bear guts are going in. <laughs> oh, we want Tommy. I'm going to go <laughs> get him. This beaker represents the boiled egg. Aha, the outside bit is the shell. And the inside bit is the is the boiled egg. It's a solid. So it's That's a boiled a solid. egg. This pretend to speak because it's okay. a boiled egg. Okay. And give it a spin. So we're spinning it. Spinning, spin, 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 spin. And when we stop it and then let go, nothing happens. Spin it quickly. We stop it and then let go, and nothing happens. Now that's not very surprising, isn't it? Because when we stop it, everything stops. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to model. A raw egg. So take out the guts and put them back in the teddy bear. Take out the guts. I got one. Yay! Oh. Nice and full teddy bear. One only little bit. Oh, that feels better, Mr. Teddy Bear. Yeah. What so ah. now we're going to model the raw egg. So I'm going to mm -hmm. put the liquid into the big beaker. Now I'm going to put a few dry seeds in so that we can maybe see the water a bit better. Let's top him up now. There's a lot of water there. Takes a lot of effort to get it spinning. We need it spinning. Oh. Bits coming out. Bits coming out. I'll save you, Teddy. I'm gonna oh. stop it quickly. Will it keep going? Oh, only, it only just keeps going. I thought it might keep spinning, does it doesn't really. Oh, doesn't work as good as what I would have liked. Let's try it. That was a bit of a fail, you kids. Oh, let's, let's try it, let's try it with the egg. All right, Sam, what you're going to do, so you're going to put the egg on the plate Whoop. and you're going to oh, you're right, and you're going to give it a spin. Use two fingers. Notice it's hard to get spinning. I got it spinning. You do and let's let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Crack it. Keep it going. Keep it going and then I'm going to quickly stop it and we're going to see what happens. Ready? Stop. <gasps> okay. Did you see that? Kept going. So what do you think's on the inside? That's the raw egg. You think that's the raw egg? And it hasn't been boiled, so it hasn't been bubbled up. Okay, let's try this one, Mick. It smells Alright, once it's going fast, then you're going to quickly stop it and then let go. Stay, doesn't keep moving, does it? Okay, it stays stopped. So once you stop it, stays stopped. There's a solid in there, isn't there? So due to Newton's first law, when the raw egg is spinning and then you stop it and then let go, it keeps going. Things in motion keep staying in motion unless a force acts. Alright, so that's the raw one. Can we crack them now? Yeah, you can crack them now. Let's crack them into the bowl. Let's see. Oh, that's the raw egg. Oh. And Sam's is the Sam's is the boiled egg. Thanks so much for joining us today on Raw or Boiled Egg out of our book. Make, Make time fun! fun. <laughs> and we hope to see you guys next episode. Alright, bye for now. See everybody. Say bye. 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 Oh, I just remembered something earlier on this year. I made this spin chair for the kids. It was like this motorised chair that spun around. Anyway, when you sat in it and spinning around, behind your ears, inside your head, are these three semicircular canals, all at different angles, and they've got liquid in them. And so when you spin around, the liquid starts spinning around them as well. And then when you stop spinning, the liquid keeps on spinning, and it gives you this feeling of dizziness. So that's how you feel dizzy, because of Newton's first law and the law of inertia and that is that objects in motion have a tendency to keep going on in motion. Okay, bye for now.